So check the door as we open it. Good place to check the seatbelt. So we need to check the whole of the webbing. So we'll reel it all out. We're looking for cuts or damage. Plug it in and check that it retracts on an empty seat there and that it will come undone under pressure if we need to. Check the retracts all the way. Check the seat for security. And on this vehicle, the battery's under the seat. So we'll just check that that is secure and not going anywhere. We climb in. And then we start to look at the view. We look through the near side mirror there to check our view down the near side. View through the windscreen, check it's not obstructed by stickers or anything in the way. Across to our driver's side mirror. Back to the near side, coming across the dashboard. We can put the ignition on. Just check the demist is working. Um, coming across, check our driving controls. Put my foot on the brake and we can check the handbrake. Operating, it's secure and there's no excess travel. Check our switches and our warning lights. We've got the indicator switch. And washers and wipers. So check they clear the screen and work over a good enough area for me to see clearly through. Check all my warning lights, main beam and everything. And obviously when I'm driving, if any of those come on, we need to report the fault, pull in somewhere safe and get it reported. Hazard warning lights work with the ignition on and off. <clears throat> Check the steering wheel, any signs of damage and that it's secure. Moving down into the footwell area, check there's no rubbish that's going to foul the operation of the pedals and then check my pedals for the anti-slip provision and I can put my foot on the brake, start it up and check whether the pedal dips. Keep my foot on the brake pedal and see if it sinks, see if there's any signs of leakage or anything, see that everything feels okay. Check the horn, check on my light switches. We can start the vehicle up, foot on the brake pedal, start it up, it should dip a little bit for the servo, check that our pedal's not creeping down, check our power steering now, that's okay, check for any signs of excessive smoke from the exhaust that may indicate problems with the engine. Whilst we're driving, keep an eye for any warning lamps on the dashboard that come on indicating a fault. If it does, get it reported and get it rectified as soon as possible. Whilst you're driving the vehicle, check the feel of the vehicle, the steering, the brakes, is it driving correctly, it's not wandering, and that should be okay for you. Do these basic checks and you know your vehicle is going to be in good condition. You can download further information from the website, the best practice guide, your van. Inside there, there is the walk round check with all these items on there to be checked as a handy reminder.